okay so let's start with this one maybe little important for everyone many people okay who wants to uh, apply for a first time job okay so generally uh, jobs role jobs will be two types of jobs okay let's say you are joining to a company called maybe abc company right they take you like two ways one way is direct direct uh, direct hire okay or contract to hire right direct to hire means you are called as permanent employee so they will take you directly permanent it's not permanent permanent okay so here you will be direct employee to this company and you will be start getting the payroll everything fine okay there is no deviation here you are you are part of the system completely no more deviation this one everyone knows it okay but contract to hire will come into picture where when they are recruiting you maybe not in india but in us uk this is maximum 90 people 90 percent 80 percent of the jobs are contract only okay how they recruit is they'll take you okay so i am offering an offer letter okay it is only for six months okay after six months if we need it if your performance is good okay then we will continue or we will make you permanent two options continue the contract okay or make you permanent based on our requirement based on your performance this part is clear ma yes sir okay everyone first time learners is that clear this point is clear Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now this is directly to ABC. Okay. If you you are directly even uh, even it is permanent, even it is contract, but ABC company will give you money. You got it right? Who is paying you here? The ABC company. Okay. This part is clear, ma? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now second way of job, sir. Now ABC company have a project. Okay. Let's say. Service no project. Okay, and it's just six months project, right? So what they do is, for this six months project, did ABC company? Okay, let's say ABC company need ten resources, ten service no developers, and testers, okay, and BA. So they need a full team, ten people. They need a full team of ten people, okay, and they need it only for six months. right so generally they can tell okay so we will recruit you we will take you six months contract fine they can do it but here some risk is there what is that risk is i will tell you okay if we take people okay when it is contract contract position contract jobs contract employees can leave at any time so what they do is this is the risk they will start something some work and in between contract people will leave so that their their ongoing things will get impacted okay first thing second thing is employment rules will be there employers rules we don't even we don't follow we don't know but there are strong set of employment rights rules are there in every country okay we don't follow because we work for 20 hours in india sometimes but the employment rule will say okay if you do more than 8 hours you can file a case on uh, your company but no one will do if we file a case na then we will be in jail we only will be jail <laughs> okay that's how the indian market is okay no problem so now what is the thing here is to avoid the risk of people management here what this abc company will do in the next scenario is the abc company okay will approach one small company where they provide human it's like a consultant company like our best example is maybe capgemini capgemini is mainly not mainly but it started as a consultancy where these people will tell okay uh, abc people abc company will ask capgemini i want 10 people okay seven developers one tester and one ba one team something like this then these people will provide okay these 10 people to them these 10 people will either sit in abc company or these 10 people will either sit in capgemini location but the work will be done for abc company good who will pay for this 10 people here 
Who is the direct payroll of these ten people here? ABC. Cap Germany. Cap Germany. Okay. So Cap Germany will recruit them as a direct employees, and Cap Germany will ask these ten people to work for this company. We call it as a project, and Cap Germany will pay for these ten people. So Cap Germany is their direct payroll. Okay. But they are working for ABC now, so indirectly ABC is the main company. So third party payroll now. If you see like this, can can you say if you say ABC is my company, then you have to say via third party. You should not say like ABC is my direct company payroll company. Is ABC is my payroll pay, payroll company here in this example? Yes. No. It's not. A, it's not my company. It's not my payroll company. Okay. So I am working for this company. Okay. So I need to say in in one sentence. Okay. I am working for ABC under the payroll of XYZ company. Under the payroll of. So who is paying for you this company? So third party payroll. Okay. In case sometimes. Okay. You can't tell your company name because your company name is not there in the records. That time you should not tell people who goes uh, with uh, not real experience. What they need to tell? I am working for. Okay, so many texts will be there. Okay, so Ultra Ultra Tech Solutions. This is my parent company, and I am doing a job for ICICI Bank customer. So. In when we are telling in interviews, we will tell. Okay, I will. I will. Exp I, I am working for ICICI Bank. We will expose like this only. Okay, I am working for a project for ICICI Bank, and this project is having six months of time, and we implemented instant management, change management. Everything will say. Finally, with a low, simple voice, we will say under the payroll of this company, Ultra Tech Company. Okay, you should not say all Trotec is my parent company with the proud movement. Okay, if you tell now they will open it. Where is all Trotec company? Then they don't even see a link. Fasak, you're getting me, ma? So you need to tell everything. Okay, one hour discussion you need to do by saying incident. I say, 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 I say. Finally, in a lower voice, you need to tell all Trotec is my parent company, payroll company. So under the payroll of third party. Payroll. So third party payroll here. The third party company here is Alta Tech Solutions. So third party payroll is a bad option or a good option? When we don't have any option, then that is only the option. Good or bad, you we can decide later. Okay. 